Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I am hoping that I'm going to make your day because I have a list of some solutions and tips and suggestions, workarounds, whatever you want to call them for that issue that may pop up, so to speak. Uh, the message that says your save has failed. Now, you probably know what I'm talking about. Let me show you. I hope I don't give you nightmares by showing you this error message here, but it looks like right here on my screen in the thumbnail here, your save has failed, and then it gives this big long message and it says you could try again or download a backup. I think we've all been there, and especially if you're watching this video or reading this blog post, you've been there. So you know what that feeling is when you, you try and try and basically fail. So I've been wanting to tackle this for a very long time, but I was trying to collect data. I wanted to give good answers and you know I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Um, well, with this issue, nobody does, but I think by the end of this, you're going to have a solution. So the way I've structured this post, in the first section here, I'm talking about the message itself and then the actual suggestions from the message, we'll go over that, and then I have a list of a whole bunch of things that I think you're going to really find helpful. Let's start by looking at the actual message, okay, the text of the message, because it's kind of easy uh, to skip over this, but let's, let's look at it. An error has occurred while saving your page. Various problems can cause a save to fail, such as lack of server resources, firewall blockages, plugin conflicts, or server misconfigurations. You can try saving again by clicking try again, or you can download a backup of your unsaved page by clicking download backup. Backups can be restored using the portability system while next editing your page. Yeah, that's a little weird. Okay, contacting your host and asking them to increase the following PHP variables. I guess they're saying contact your host. Again, the wording on this is a little uh, awkward, but memory limit, your max execution time, upload max file size, all these things. In addition, editing, auditing your firewall error log, such as mod security, there's a little clue, may reveal false positives that are preventing saves from completing. Lastly, it is recommended that you temporarily disable all WordPress plugins and browser extensions to try to save again, determine if something is causing a conflict. All right, let's look at this closely. First of all, let's make sure we're reading the message because I see people post this a lot and then, you know, they almost kind of want to be like sarcastic replies like, well, did you read the message? And, you know, it's, it's easy to want to say that to someone, but I also know from the other end, it's very frustrating. So yeah, you, you do have to read the message, but I also understand it may be hard to understand the message. The first thing you'll notice it's pretty clear an error has occurred while saving your page. It's all about saving. That's important because think about it. The, it's, it's something is happening between connecting the content that you're trying to build in Divi and the actual database. When you're trying to, you know, save your nice design to your database, to the hosting server, that's where the error is happening. That's actually important to think about. So that, that's our first clue. But anyway, um, it's either happening when you are manually clicking save, that little green button, or the, there's an auto save in Divi and it could be happening then. Now it mentions it could be a lack of server resources. Well, what does that mean? Well, the first thing you should always check and always have correct on your Divi website is to have good hosting. If you don't click my link, go check out my recommendations. But Go to Divi, Support Center, System Status, and there you're going to see all the recommendations about your server resources. I think for this video, I'm just going to stay on the page. You can, you can go do that very easily. You should know how to do that. Go to Divi, Support Center, and there you'll see it. Definitely check the PHP options there. Make sure you have the right PHP version, and especially check that memory limit. Things like that are probably going to be the culprit. And you can contact your hosting provider if you need help with that. One of the other main things it mentions in the message is firewall blockages. Now this is more than likely the problem. Mod security. So if you are using a host that I do not recommend, such as 
Bluehost or GoDaddy, something like that, and you'll see it in, if you look at my list. They or any any of them using cPanel, um, I, and if you there's something okay, so you would think something security wise is important, and it is. But what's happening is the way Divi said it is like a false positive. So the, what's happening is when mod security, there's yeah, when you hit save. There's a function happening that's from Divi sending it to the server. The server's like, oh crap, what's that thing? I don't recognize that. I wonder what that is. It must be bad. Block that thing. Well, the thing was just Divi trying to save page. It's a false positive. It's not a bad thing. But it's it's like, what's the word for that? Like hyperactive. It's like false positive. Yeah. So... That's what's happening a lot of times for you. So go into cPanel if you have cPanel. You can go to the security section there and disable the mod security. Um, you can talk to your hosting provider about that. Um, maybe you want to do it just when you're working and editing your site, whatever. You can also check the console. You, you should see an error in the console when you right click, choose inspect, and then click the console tab on any page. You should see an error there. All right, so you can talk to your hosting provider now, if you're using a plugin that's security, like for like like WordFence, from what I've heard, a lot of users face this with WordFence, and to solve it, you have to go into WordFence, and I actually put a link here to their documentation. You have to turn on something called learning mode. Well, you know, I guess it, I don't know what it does exactly, but you need to turn that on when you're using Divi and it'll learn, I guess, what's those good requests and which ones are bad, okay? So it'll learn that, hey, clicking the green button is good. So do that. Um, you can even try deactivating any security plugins and all that. You can talk to your web host, check, tell them to check like logs and stuff like that. But that mod security thing, is the firewall thing, is going to be probably one of the, of the main things. Now it also said to check for plugin conflicts. Now you would do this by turning on safe mode. So go to Divi Support Center and enable the toggle that says safe mode. Safe mode puts the admin you in a in like a special little world where just Divi and WordPress are running. It kind of like pseudo disables all plugins and other child themes and other code. That way you can know is this issue happening with just Divi? Or is this issue happening with a conflict of Divi and something else? So more than likely it's going to be happening um, with a conflict with something else rather than just Divi. So more than likely in safe mode you'll, you won't face it, but um, it's a good way to help narrow it down. If you only get it when safe mode is off in normal mode, that means there's some conflict and you're going to have to like try different things, like try disable child theme, try... Um, disabling your plugins and then enable them one by one and all that. All right, let's move on to the good stuff. So far we've talked about the things in their message, right? We're talking about things in this this screenshot, right? This I mean this message, this pop-up. Those are all things that you should check because yeah, they they Elliot Themes is literally telling us about them, so it's our due diligence to check those things. Now I'm going to give you a bunch of more things that I think are going to be even more helpful. All right. And by the way, um, this video, I won't be able to update, but the blog post I can update. So uh, if you have updates for this post, new ideas, new workarounds, new tips, I will add them to the blog post happily. Just leave a comment on the blog post and, and we'll get them added. Okay. So the first one I have is session timeout. So I know for me, a lot of times I'll be like working on a page, maybe I'm writing a blog post, and then I'll get distracted, you know, one of my little girls is playing or crying or whatever needs me, and I'll come back and think, oh, I'm still in the Divi Builder, I'm going to keep working, and I start working, and blah, blah, blah. And then I go to save, and it's like, ugh, there's the message. Well, that's because during that time, the, the Builder timed out. So anything that I was moving around and all the stuff I've lost because I, I hadn't saved in that interval. So that's one of the, the main things. So it's not a solution. It's just something to be mindful of it. You know, it's not really anyone's fault, I guess, except 
being distracted. But anyway, the second one is WordPress idle user logout. So I could not find the exact information on this, but in WordPress, you know, you, you do get automatically logged out. You're not logged in forever when you log to a site. Um, whatever that interval is, and that may depend on your hosting provider. It may depend if you have a plugin modifying that. But if you are working and you're getting logged out, you may be logged out and the Divi Builder's still there and you're still working away and then all of a sudden you go to save and it's like, oh, here's the message. Well, if you're logged out, well, of course you can't save. So it's one of those things um, to be mindful of. Now, here's one that gets me a lot. This is very interesting. This one has a good solution. This may apply to you, so pay attention. Now, I'm going to try to describe this very specifically. And this blog post is a good example. If you are working in the Visual Builder, so if, so for this blog post that you're reading, I actually use Divi to build my blog post. I also have a Theme Builder template applied and then the post content module. Now, in a situation like this, I have Divi in the Theme Builder and here, and that I think causes the issue sometimes. So what happens is, like even in my documentation, I do the same thing. So if I'm here building away, and let's say I'm editing this text, and then I'm like, you know, I'd really like to edit this um, sidebar thing, and I click over here now. Now I'm in the temp. Now I'm in the theme builder template. Now I'm editing over here, or maybe I'm in my header up here at the top. Well, now I'm editing here. Oh. I guess I'll save my changes. So I save my changes and I get the error. I've noticed that happens almost every time when I switch like that. If I wanted to make a change to my template here, what I could do, the trick is to come back and start editing over here again, or even just click in here. Now I'm clicking in here. Now I'm in this, now I'm editing the body area. Now I click save, ta-da, and it saves. So. Be aware of that if you're using the Divi Builder in a blog post or some page where you also have the opportunity to switch to the template, okay? Oh, here's one, try again. And that's one of the buttons. It's one of the options in the message. You know, it might sound silly, but this actually works sometimes. Um, I don't know if it's like a delay, like the server's like busy and you just need to give it 10 seconds, you know what I mean? Or or if something was going on when it was saving the first time and it just had some glitch and it's like, try again, sometimes it works. So don't roll that out. I mean, try it a few times. Here's one that I just did the other day. I literally did this last week. Um, I was working and I was like, Philly, this is, I can't get around it, you know, right? So I, I let's see, how did I do it? Okay, so I, I had multiple tabs open, of course, but I closed out my tab completely. I still was logged in, but I closed out my tab. I copied the URL first, closed the tab, and then pasted my URL again, enabled the Divi Builder, and there was no more issue. And it had saved my changes. So even though it said it saved failed, it actually had saved. So. I guess be mindful of that. So the way you can check that is when it says save failed, copy the URL, go to another tab and paste the URL and check if it has your saved, has your updates or not. And if it does, then Philly just close the tab. <laughs> All right. Now I've heard of some people have this issue using a VPN. Um, I, I don't have experience with that, but something to be mindful of. I don't know if you can, I don't know. If you disable it temporarily or what, but you can check for that. Network connection, this is kind of obvious and it goes along with the timeout thing and the logout. But if hey, if, if you've had spotty internet or your internet went out or something, that's gonna mess up your session and it could cause the issue. Another weird one someone reported was that if they had emojis on the page, it wouldn't work. I, I do not know why. I, I believe them, uh, I just don't know why. A couple more here that are similar, code module and short codes. These are pretty similar. So if you have code in a code module, check that. In fact, maybe like save it to the library or copy it and remove it and then try saving. And if it works, you're like, oh, it was that, it was that. 
same with a short code. There's there's things happening with a short code where it's connecting to the database, right? And that that can mess things up. Okay, so try that. Try disabling those, or or like I said, copy it and kind of get them out of the way, remove them, and then be like, oh, if it saves, then you know that was the problem. SEO plugins. I have um, had issues with these, and I know other people were reporting, you know, like Rank Math, Yoast, All in One SEO, and all these. I have heard for sure that this can cause the issue. There's, I don't know what it is, some conflict. I don't know what it is. And it's not all the time, obviously, but like occasionally in some scenario, I don't know. But at least check it. You know, if you're getting down here and you're like running out of ideas, um, th these are things that are worth checking. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. Don't have the Divi theme and Divi Builder plugin installed. Some people didn't realize that. If you have a Divi theme, you don't need the Divi Builder plugin. So just make sure you're not um, having both. And depends how you work. Don't be in one tab in the back end, like editing the excerpt and the slug and featured image and all that, and then have it open on the front end visual builder. So don't have the same page open in the front and back. That's going to mess things up with saving. Um, here's a general advice. Check the console. So with like in any case ever, right click, choose inspect, and then click on the console tab and you'll see all kind of little things like it'll, it'll be red if it's an error or yellow if they're warnings. It'll tell you things, you know, what's wrong. So restore from revisions. So I've heard people had good luck, you know, when they had to kind of get forced out of a page. They checked and in their WordPress in the back end, there was a revision of their changes so that might be something to check if you feel like you've lost everything be sure to check the revisions you never know it might be there now here's two that are crucial i shouldn't have saved them to the end but they are really crucial when you click save just be patient don't don't do anything else um i know that's hard for for some of us for me um because I usually have to be doing three other things while I'm waiting on those two seconds. But just wait, because that's going to, if you do something else, it can interrupt the process, and interrupting that process is, is exactly what's causing this error. So don't do anything that would interrupt, especially if you're facing this a lot. Um, don't click anything, don't even switch tabs, don't do anything. Just let it run its thing, let it do its little spinny thing, and then phew, finally. Um, so be patient and don't interrupt, go hand in hand. Now, clearing the cache, you know, when all else fails, blame cache, and it's sort of true, and be sure to clear all that. I have links if you're new to that and need to know how to do that. Um, here was one, a user s said, try saving your page, like using like, kind of what Divi suggests, but save it to the library, or you could download it, or you could save it to the cloud, Delete the layout and maybe exit and come back in the builder again and then add the layout back. And people have said that works. So it's like something temporary with the layout. I don't know. Anyway, your suggestions could be here. So let me know and I'll add them here at the bottom. Um, I had no other way to do this. I, 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 it got long, but I don't know what else to say. This is a big, big issue. And I feel like it's getting worse. And it's not easy to pinpoint and it's yeah it's even worse when we start blaming things that it's a lot of times it's not easy to even blame someone and yeah i hope it helps i really do let me know if this is helpful i want to hear and especially if you have some crazy things that worked for you that i'll i'll be happy to hear them entertain them at least um in the comments so let me know i hope you've enjoyed it and if you do check out all of my videos i have a whole bunch of videos like solving problems in Divi, um, how to do backups and maintenance and all kinds of things as well as all of the code tutorials. As there's literally uh, several hundred of them here on YouTube and on the blog. I hope you enjoy all that and go ahead and subscribe. Check out our plugins and membership and all that stuff. Okay, see you in the next video.